welcome back. Uh, in this unit for Python for X Informatics, we will be talking about uh, Canopy and IPython. Canopy is an IDE which is developed by uh, Nthought. It brings together a lot of powerful Python packages uh, under one IDE. So Canopy is a really powerful IDE which uh, brings together a lot of powerful Python packages. Uh, IPython is an interactive Python terminal. Uh, with IPython, you can interact with your Python program and uh, you can see uh, the results. You can modify stuff uh, on the go, so it is really helpful. So uh, Canopy has its own IPython terminal, so which uh, we would be using for uh, this unit. Uh, for downloading uh, Canopy, you can go to uh, this link. Uh, this is essentially the link for the uh, Nthought store for Canopy. So you can get Canopy from here. Uh, also, Canopy comes in three versions. This is the Canopy Express. This is the free version, which we would be using for the purpose of uh, the course. Then there is a basic version, which is for $199. And then there is a professional version for uh, $999. So uh, each of the more expensive versions gives more features. So if uh, you would be needing some of the advanced features, you might want to buy Canopy. Uh, but for the purpose of this course, the Express version is fine, So uh, which is what we would be using. So if you want to download the Express version, you can click on the Downloads button. So uh, that would take you uh, to this page. Uh, here at the bottom, you can see the operating system. So you can select your operating systems. But since we're doing it for Windows, uh, I would click on Windows. Here again, the operating systems uh, is shown. Here, the 32 bit or 64 bit option is available. We would be doing it for the 32 bit. Then you can click on download canopy 1.2 32-bit for windows right here so uh, this would download the setup files for canopy once you get the setup files you can run the setup file so this is the first window in the setup file so this is the setup wizard you just click the next here you can accept the terms in the license agreement after reading the license agreement and uh, click next and then step through the installation and finally get done with the installation and then you would have a canopy ready to use. When you run uh, the canopy you have just installed, uh, this is what the welcome screen would look like. There are three uh, big buttons, the editor, which we would look uh, at in a bit, package manager. So this is one way to access the package manager. Uh, I will show you a different way through the editor. I feel that way is convenient because you can uh, look at what packages you have when uh, working with the editor. So this is the doc browser. So here you can see the documentation of various stuff or tutorials. Uh, so let's get started with the uh, editor. So this is basically what your editor would look like. So this is the main uh, editor workspace. Here you can create a new file or select a file from your computer. This is your file browser. Here uh, you can see all the files you can open. This is the recent files or the other files you have. This is your IPython terminal. Uh, this is where uh, you would see the output of the code you run through the editor. And this is where uh, you can interact with your Python code through uh, the power of IPython. This is your working directory. So you can change your working directory by clicking this uh, small arrow right here. So this is basically what your editor would look like. Uh, we would need to get the necessary packages for this unit. I would show you how to get NumPy, SciPy, and Matplotlib. Uh, the same uh, idea can be followed for other packages you need. Uh, so you would click on Tools and Package Manager uh, for getting a new package. And then you type NumPy in the search window right here. So you type NumPy and it would search NumPy. So you can see that NumPy is a free version while these are Canopy versions. So these come with 
Uh, some of these come with the basic or premium canopy. So this is the free version which uh, is shipped with your express canopy. So you would click on NumPy and if there is an install button right here, you would click on the install button which would install the package for you. So if there is no install button here, it means that NumPy has been installed and you do not need to worry about it. So if there is an install button, do click it and uh, install NumPy. Similarly, you will type in matplotlib and do the same for matplotlib. So it is matplotlib 1.2.1. Or you can also do uh, the same thing for scipy. Uh, and install scipy. So here the install button is not there, which means that scipy is installed and up to date. So uh, go ahead and get your canopy editor set up. Uh, next, I would show you how to uh, run code on canopy uh, using the using both the text editor as well as uh, the IPython console. So Let's take a look at uh, how to use the canopy editor. So uh, you can create a new file uh, using this button or you can select files from your computer. Uh, but since we do not have any files uh, which we have previously created, we would create a new file. So this opens an editor so you can uh, type your code in here or you can uh, write your code here. So let's write a basic program say uh, let me write a small math program where I would add two numbers. So uh, this is a basic program. So I can save the program from here and let me save it as add dot py on my desktop and I can run the program with this button so now that I've run the program I can see the output in the uh, IPython console so uh, everything uh, so every code you write in uh, your text editor would run in the IPython console so you can see the output uh, right below uh, you can also write code in your IPython console and uh, this is really powerful. So I can write a equal to 2. Then I can ask it to print a. So it says a equal to 2. So I can so this can be used as a Python terminal on its own. Uh, we would see more of uh, the power of this IPython when we look into matplotlib because uh, IPython would allow you to interact with matplotlib. So uh, for the rest of this unit, we would be using this IPython terminal to uh, test out the various other packages like NumPy and matplotlib and scipy. Uh, but if you want to write large pieces of code, you could write it in this editor and save it. So this brings us to the end of the lesson on Canopy. So uh, I hope you had fun and you would uh, enjoy playing with Canopy. So have fun playing with Canopy.